Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Amazon One Link. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up our browser. In this case, I'm going to use my browser here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to visit our associates link. In this case, what we need to do is just type in Amazon Associates or Affiliate. So it doesn't matter, just type in the following and you should be able to see this URL here in Google.com. In this case, go ahead and choose that one. Now in this case, I actually have a US account here. So as you can see, since I'm already logged in into my account, it's going to immediately lead me into the Associates page here. But if you're not yet logged in, usually at the top right, you should be able to see a log, a sign up or a login button. And at the very center, you see sign up button. But in this case, all we need to do next is we need to access a specific setting here, which is typically it's going to be under tools. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on one link here once it actually appears. And from here, you should be able to see your one link page. Now, as you can see, it's going to say my store name here, and it's currently set up in the United States. So you can configure your store ID like for our regions like Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, and a lot more. So let's go ahead and click on get started here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to actually add countries. So go ahead and click on add countries here and choose the country that you want to add it on. Now for example, if you want to add United Kingdom, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, you can go ahead and choose that. For example, I'm going to choose Canada here and just click on next. Now it's going to give me some uh, operation agreements here. Like for example, for Canada, this is going to be the link for it. So in this case, I suggest you to read this first, but once you've read that, you can just click on I accept these terms and conditions and just click on submit. It's going to say congratulations, you have successfully configured your store ID to earn across Canada countries. So please review edit payment tax rejection traffic settings here. In this case, these are going to be the next steps that we need to uh, do here. Uh, for example, the up updating our payment method, our taxes, one link redirection preferences, and the traffic sources. So for example, let's go ahead and open up the payment method section. Now, for the payment method section here, it might ask you to uh, verify yourself. So in this case, let's just go and log in and verify yourself. Now in this case, what you need to do is you need to configure your payment method. As you can see, I haven't set up anything in here. So for each country here, you need to set up your payment method. Like for example, right now, the only available right now for me is going to be pay by gift card here for uh, for that, for Canada and the United Kingdom. Uh, United States, States actually has like pay by gift card or pay by check. Now, another way for you to add your payment method is to also add your bank here, which in this case, just click on add bank here and fill out the necessary details here and just click on save changes. Now, in this case, it might take a while or you might get some issues adding your bank here. So there might be some verifications and it might take like two to three days, if I'm not mistaken, for you to add your bank here. But once you've done that, you can just click on the save changes here. Or if you already added like a payment method on your main account, like for United States, you should actually automatically choose that for the country or the um, other country that you just recently added, which is something really cool because it's going to fill, uh, fill it up for you itself. So let's go and click on cancel here. Let's go back into a previous page. Now, the other thing that you need to fill out here is going to be taxes. So depending on the your account you might need to fill out your taxes here like for some of you provide tax information so in this case you need to provide vote for united states and canada so that's why that's why it's actually really important that you read the terms of use before you actually accept for the country like for example let's go ahead and click on incomplete next to canada here so that we'll be able to see what's actually what we actually need to complete so uh yeah so in this case, it should show you some information about your business here. So in this case, just fill out all the entire details here and you should be able to submit your taxing information. Now, another thing that you need to fill out here is going to be the one link redirection preferences. So you need, also need to update that. So let's go ahead and open it up. And from here we have, or we should be able to see the uh, section for our one redirect preference here. So if that shows you that issue here, just reload the page, it doesn't matter, it should fix itself. As you can see, it's going to select other geography here. So for example, since we chose in Canada, let's go and choose Canada. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose what type of option. So we have three options here, we have close match, exact match, and do not redirect. 
So it's going to actually describe what these three options actually do for you. Like for example, for a close match, uh, your international visitors will be redirected to their local or nearest Amazon storefront if there's an exact or similar product available. Now, for exact match, your visitors will be redirected only when a exactly matching product is available on Amazon.com. Now, do not redirect from the name itself is to disable the end redirection of your international visitors. Now, if you want to choose whatever option here, but I would recommend you to choose a close match here because uh, it's the best option here. So just in case, uh, your Amazon.com can still like find an exact match uh, that you have or for your links here, which is something really cool. Now, another section that you need to fill out as well is going to be the traffic sources here. So let's just open it up and wait for it to load up. So as you can see, we have our traffic sources here. So make sure to enter your websites or if you have like mobile apps or Alexa skill URLs, go ahead and co uh, complete that. And any extra information that you need here, make sure to uh, basically uh, fill it up, fill it up. Now in this case, when you visit amazon.com here, which is the default account I have right now, which is uh, going to be US, as you can see, I will be able to start generating, generating my links here. But when you go to Amazon CA, you should also have that specific bar here since you've added it into your account. So in this case, you should be able to start generating your link. But in some cases, sometimes users might not immediately see this. So sometimes it might take around 24 to 48 hours for it to reflect. But once you fill out all the SRI details here, you should be good and you should be able to start using it. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and then watch our next video.